Hey guys, welcome back. Friday afternoon. It was miserable weather back at the Southern Highlands. So we thought we'd take on the bridal track just out past Bathurst. We went out the back way through Goulburn, Traralga, Oberon. Now apparently the bridal track is a pet friendly area. So we've brought Little Miss on for the trip. We are just about to go on Root Hog Road. Four by four only. Rocks and whatnot are a bit sharp on the track in. So we're just gonna air down, find a camp for the night, do a bit of touring over the weekend. Dog, honestly, you just hear a yelping and you're like, what's wrong? <laughs> what is with you? Look at your face. Hey. Oh my god, look at you. This place is beautiful. So it's at the end of that root hog road. Literally comes down to the river here. Um, and the bridal track, I believe is just up there. You can kind of see it. Um, we'll, we'll be doing that tomorrow, but, oh, woo, <laughs> Shui's just up there trying to find some wood, but, mm, looks like a pretty popular spot, so there's not much around. What do you think of the drive into camp today, along Root Hog Road? Um, steep, mm. Bobby-ish. There's some more spots up and down the river. We're at a pretty big rapid spot at the moment. So tomorrow morning we'll go for a walk and we'll take Quinn down there so she can go for a bit of a morning swim. And the only thing I can fault on this spot and it's not got anything to do with the area, it's the people that are attending it. What is the issue I've got? Same issue I've ever Rubbish, just people leaving their rubbish. It's all I'm gonna say about it. We'll clean it up because I don't like leaving a place like that. But other than that, I can't fault this spot. We even turned up to camp with what seemed like wood already left here. Mm. Um, and as we're driving past other camps to this one, there was wood at them sites as well. Yeah, it was like the council came through, but... I don't know. Because um, I don't think... Like, if there's rubbish around, I don't think those people would be the type of people to think of the next camper. <laughs> yeah, no. No. So it's, it's weird, it's like someone's come through. Left wood. So we sent the drone up, I'll show you a bit of that next. And I'll probably tune out for the night now. We're just going to cook up a little bit of, what do we got? Chicken fizzle? Snitty wraps. Snitty, car come through, like one. Snitty wraps for tonight. Bridal truck's just there. Yeah, we'll get the fire going. Yeah, I pointed that one out earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll get the fire going, have some wraps and then... You don't need it yet, it's still like 20... Six degrees. It is very warm. It was very warm when we turned up actually. Yeah, it's bloody cold and miserable at home. Yeah, <laughs> raining. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, and, glad we left home. And then, yeah, I reckon. I'm so glad we did too. I would have not wanted to have stayed home at all. And then we'll go through a river crossing tomorrow just to get onto the bridal track and, like I said before, have some fun exploring, I guess. Find another campground for this one to Four. run ragged around. 
think she's boss dog at the moment. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Till tomorrow, I guess. <laughs>
Well, we just packed up and it's so hot. I thought stuff this. I'm just gonna go for a quick swim before we hit the road again. Right, setup's all done. Off to a new adventure this morning. New place to see. Had a little good swim there, just to freshen up because woof, the sun has got a bite to it. Thoughts on the bridal track so far? Um, yeah, it's alright. Lots of spots. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be concerned of turning up late because, like, there's just heaps of spots. About the track condition. Bumpy, very swallowy. Like it's just wombat holes. Second gear, low range, just ten k's an hour. Yeah, I think we only got out of second gear once. Mm. Just pulled up for a quick little break to let Quinn run her legs around, send the drone up. It's just awesome. I just love how much water there is. <laughs> just run her between Stewie and I. Go, 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 go. <laughs> just do this all day and then come five o'clock, she's ready to go to bed. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Have a drink. Oh, good girl. <laughs> stop on the way if we can for quick. We're hoping to camp on the river anyway. Tonight.
turned up to Caves Hole Reserve, another little campground along the track. Literally, just as we we're friggin' driving into this place, what happened, Shuey? Uh, brown snake decided to cross in front of us. He didn't even look. That's what annoys me the most. He did not give way. <laughs> he did not. Nah, so, I don't know. I'm frightened as all hell. I hate snakes. And just with Quinn, she's just got no awareness about it either. I'm gonna have some lunch, have a little bit of a break from sitting in the car. It's very second gear, back and forth kind of driving. Head up the hill end, just drive through there because I, I think it's run by national parks and we have the dog, so it just stays out. in the car. We're, we're all right. But then again, they might allow dogs, I don't know. Um, what do you think of this spot? It's all right, it's not bad. Yeah. Cool little river crossing. Mm. Mm. The only thing that gets me is just the snakes, but I mean, I know. It's summer and you're in Australia. And yeah. That's what snakes do. They come out in the summer in Australia. Oh, it's just freaky. Anyway, lunch was good. We're going to pile us all back in. And Ooh. let's go into the next and step. Truck is in <laughs> everyone else's rubbish that we collected. We don't actually have enough space to put our own rubbish away. Good job, Tiz. Okay, so we bared up, got rid of everyone's rubbish. Gonna head out towards Safala. Try and find a camp around there. Rocks, might check that out on the way, it's on the same road. Via Wallaby Rocks it is.
thought we found a top spot. On the way here, the road was really rough, rutty tracks. I said to Stewie, Quinn just doesn't look well. Well, we just got to that spot there and she's got now the car and she's on two massive vomits. Well, that's what she thinks of this spot. Moving on to the next spot. We'll go for plan C, the third camp up here that we didn't mind on the way in. We'll suss it out. <laughs> I think she's feeling better now. Throw up on this one, Quinn. <laughs> up camp only problems with swags is trying to find the flattest ground at your camp spot but <laughs> Quinn's just like in the dirt <laughs> afternoon we were at camp and Quinn was really weird she was really sick she was really lethargic really drowsy just wasn't herself was she nah she was really not okay so we rang a vet and we were worried it was maybe a tick or a snake bite we didn't see anything um, but she suggested we just pack up and go and get it looked at so we literally packed up our setup in seven minutes less than chuck Quinn in the car and then flew to Bathurst um, so, turned up to the vet, she's had an abdo x-ray that shows she's just got some sharp stuff, I guess, in her belly, but no obstruction. She was vomiting so much. Um, the vet doesn't think it's a tick or a snake bite. Yeah, she doesn't think it's a tick or a snake bite. She said if it was, she would have declined more rapidly than what she had. Um, we just thought she was pooped, like I said in my video earlier, we honestly thought she was just pooped and knackered from swimming and just the adventure for the day. Anyway, so she's taken some bloods. She's put Quinn on an IV drip for the night, giving her some pain relief. She said her stomach's really sore and anti-nausea medication. So she thinks she's eating like a... A kangaroo, like, like a really a carcass off, or, off basically carcass. Basically food poisoning and bones all the time. Which is really weird because we watch Quinn. Like, no tomorrow when we're camping, we're so scared of 1080 and things like that. We're really cautious, keep her on the lead. Um, higher up at night she's never wandering without us so anyway long story short she's at the vet tonight and we are staying at a caravan park just close into town so we can go and pick her up in the morning and see how she is I guess so so we've set up camp at the only caravan at the river. park at Bathurst <laughs> oh, no waterfront views tonight give you an update so we got Quinn's blood results back and everything's good it shows that she's obviously eaten something really nasty while we've been on the road could have just been like a rotten rat kangaroo we don't know and it's really frustrating because we watch her so much when we're camping you know 1080 like I said she's gonna stay at the vet tonight she's gonna have some fluids a repeat x-ray of her belly tomorrow tomorrow morning just to make sure everything's good there and we'll pick her up and We'll get her home so we're just gonna have a caravan night tonight an unplanned caravan night have a hot shower i guess thanks queen you've made our weekend very expensive have a wank <laughs> um treat yourself treat yourself good morning <laughs> very quick half pack up this morning the vet literally just rang us and said Quinn's doing a lot better after fluids overnight. She's already scoffed down her breakfast and she's happy for her to go home. So 
we're just gonna go pick her up now otherwise we couldn't pick her up till 12 and we don't want to waste a day so we're gonna go pick her up now take her back to the caravan park have some breakfast pack up and then start to head home so let's go get queen mom i'm feeling much better i got my fluids last night she's listening to us again she's walking normally again she's happy she's not lethargic you're not half, half unconscious quinn hi oh, half sit down sit down good girl How much was Quinn's overnight retreat? $917. Quinn! It wasn't over a thousand, was it? Oh, pet barn. Going to buy Quinn a nuggle. Right. We've just pulled up for a little quick lunch stop. And a cop. And a cop. Ready? <laughs> we thought we wouldn't go like through Katoomba and the Blue Mountains way home. We just wanted to go the back way so we could let Quinn out every now and then at a park. There's trouble down there. Look at her. <laughs> what are we having today, Tiana? <laughs> Rizzo sandwiches, leftovers. Leftovers. You want the cheese next to the results of melting. Oh. Sorry. You're just a pain. Sorry. Good girl. <laughs> Come on. Pick you up and walk you. Let's go. Come on. Good girl. Oh, this is gonna be fun.